Hi, this is Mark. Congratulations. You have found this amazingly awesome show. Chances are you're listening to it right now on whether it's iTunes or Stitcher Radio or some other mobile app that allows you to stream this amazingly awesome show to your ear holes. And I can't stress how awesomely amazing the show really is. But did you know that you can also catch the latest episode of this show on the Tangibound Network? That's right. Go check out tangiboundnetwork.com. You can look them up and you can listen to it right there. It's even mobile friendly. What more could you ask for? Which means you can pull it up on your iPhone or your Android, even your Windows phone. Yeah, who has one of those? But still, point remains, you can do it. You can do it. Check it out. Tangiboundnetwork.com. Listen to this show, the latest episode, every time. Check it out. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Salty Language presents The Enthusiast. Welcome to The Enthusiast. Uh, this week, uh, Tony and I, Brian, are joined by uh, James Alvarez of uh, the Obscure Gentleman comic. Uh, he's also on 12 for a Penny. And, uh, yeah, he does some other stuff on Twitter, and I know him from, like, DM groups and whatnot. Master of the 52 plugs. True, true. It's he, like a fighting style. Oh, there's so many plugs in this episode. It's ridiculous. And spoilers. Oh, so many spoilers. Like, this episode, and, if you watch or read anything, don't, well, no, don't listen. That's, that's definitely not, listen. Definitely Always listen. listen to our show. Yeah, definitely listen. But, you know, nothing is safe. No, I'm kidding. There's only, like, two spoilers, and they're not really spoilers. <laughs> There's, there's also a uh, part in the middle of the show where apparently some sort of lowland, you know, deer or something crashed into my <laughs> internets and Skype completely shit on me. Yeah. Is Sorry, some, folks. I'm just picturing the IT crowd, you know, like how, you know, the internet's in the box, you know, yes. like someone grabbed that and just shook it. <laughs> yeah, basically that's what I feel like happened. Yeah. It was probably your neighbor. It probably was. Uh, hey, what's, what's going on in here? <laughs> ah, my, my knee went sideways. And my... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, is here that internet? <laughs> uh, it would have been a high-powered junction box. <laughs> Damn it. Just let, he's not going to die like that. Stop it. I know. I know I, you're I trying to, to use your powers. through his chest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is terrible. Poor James. Right. He's going to get associated. We're starting another episode of Salty Language. Yeah. We need to get on to the interview. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, enjoy uh, this uh, talk with James that we had because it was a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah, glad we did this. So, enjoy, Double. maybe? Everything going forward, though. Yeah, we don't need Transformers on our back. No, no. Hasbro's terrible. <laughs> Hasbro, a bunch of assholes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez, that's recorded now. I'm sending that to them. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes that sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much, so much for the new twelve for a penny sponsored by Hasbro. Damn it. Yeah. Which would that be was a, our only sponsor. That would be a really odd pairing, though, considering you talk about music. Unless you were going to do a Hasbro themed uh, episode. That. That would be a horrible episode yeah. for us to t- Oh, it certainly would. Wait, has Hasbro <laughs> ever released a CD? Oh, geez. They should. Well, there's probably a soundtrack to something, like, I don't know, Transformers the Movie or G.I. Joe or something, right? So, like, Linkin Park songs and... Ugh. I, I wasn't meaning... I was meaning the animated Transformers the Movie, but... <laughs> so, Cheap Trick covering Transformers the themes. Much better, yeah. That's all it is. It's it's only the Transformers theme song, but it's done by like twelve bands. Uh, the Limp Bizkit, Bizkit version, something to behold. Is there seriously a Limp Bizkit one? No. Oh, I'm, geez. I was gonna say. Uh, if so, I'm looking it up right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I have to I'm hear this. this. Yeah. 
and have to stop in this. <laughs> Feel like that astronaut wearing a diaper <laughs> driving cross country to stop it. Yeah. <laughs> well, You're just Hasbro for people with a red baseball cap. Yep. Yep. Uh, Hasbro released, uh, you know, uh, truly outrageous a gem in the holograms tribute. Of course, why wouldn't they? Yeah. Why Ugh. wouldn't they? Ugh. Truly, truly outrageous. Uh, there's an truly, episode. Truly. Now there's an episode for you, James. <laughs> that, that could be an episode. Oh. I mean, really, like car- cartoon music is an episode down down the block. So yeah, that I, will do eventually. I could see that. There's a lot of really awful cartoon music. Oh, I mean, good cartoon music. Amazing cartoon music. Because I'm sure that's all you're going to go for. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you can go for the good stuff. Right. The hits. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Yeah. I like how my pictures still mean the garage though. I can't see anything. Like it's just I've it's just spinning for me. It is in my view it's still you in the garage. Hmm. Which is nice cuz I get to look at the car. See? What are you saying? It all works out. Oh, are you saying you can't see him in the picture also? No, he's there too, but oh, the car's there too. So you're just <laughs> wow, so you you rate second <laughs> to the car apparently, man. Jeez. You know, it would be weird if you could only see a car. That would That's be. That's true, yeah. Like, huh. I, I don't know. I mean, like, he said nice things about you earlier on, Tony, you know, about your voice and whatnot. And here you are. You're just like, yeah, yeah, get out of the way. I want to stare at that car for a bit. Like, how about that car? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a jerk. He's, it's okay. Maybe, I'm, I'm hoping as a CD player for that, you know, truly outrageous soundtrack. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't believe they really like try to cash in with the, with that gem movie that nobody saw. Oh right. It's, it, I mean, the, I, the Transformers and GI Joe, those were bad. But imagine being a gem fan. I mean. Yeah, because you're not going to get another chance. You yeah. Know, like Transformers, I, GI Joe. If a movie's bad, they're going to reboot that again at some point. Yeah. Gem's not going to get another reboot. Yeah, my problem no. is Jim. There was no fighting going on. That's their problem. They need fisticuffs. Just yeah, beating the shit out of each other. Sure, a little top tearing. Yeah, I get you. Yeah, cat fight. Sure. Nice. <laughs> yeah. We yeah. like like put someone in a coma with a keyboard guitar or something. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm yeah. in. I'm in for that. You know, if you're gonna do it, I I I much prefer like some real on you know fighting between uh was it the misfits and the holograms or whatever the hell they're called. So. Yeah, yeah. It really upsets me that they're called the Misfits because I love the actual band, the Misfits. And yeah, yeah. Although, it's sister. you know, they they could just put the actual Misfits in the movie. That's true. Oh, I, Dan- I, yeah, yeah. yeah Danzig could show up and beat the shit out of them. Mm-hmm. I'd love that. Right, and be sweaty. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> All right, Tony doesn't know this. Like every chance I get, I make a, a comment about Danzig being sweaty. <laughs> so. Oh, well, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> you have to wear a Benny shirt wrong. for a reason. Yeah. Well, hey, listen, who wouldn't? In, you know. So, so what if the the next gem reboot do is like the gritty reboot when it's all behind the scenes of them deep in drugs and just getting deep dicked and all that? <laughs> oh shit! Wow, that's that'd be so, truly outrageous, Tony. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so you mean the the Brazzers parody version? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> Whatever, whatever Brazzers is. Yeah, right, yeah, right. What, yeah. yeah, whatever. I don't know. Whatever movie studio that is. Yeah. <laughs> I... <laughs> Going so much Jim Brazzers, the producer. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Tony, let me introduce you to our guest. Uh... <laughs> uh, oddly enough, no one knew that he's the kingpin of the Brazzers empire. <laughs> Who wow. knew? Here we are. No, I like to keep that uh, secret. Oh, all right. So I, yeah. you edit that out, just like sure. bleep all that out. Not a problem. Not a problem. Just like every time I talk, just bleep it. Yeah, that was that was pretty much the plan anyway. Um, you, you should have stayed off the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, uh, what an odd way to censor someone. Yeah, it's, it's so yeah. water rushing through a pipe. <laughs> right. <laughs> just mute me, and every every time I talk, unmute me just so you can hear that pipe. That's Yeah, just, that's smart. Yeah, I'd, I'd be like, can you guys hear me right? Yeah, yeah, you're fine, you're oh, fine. Yeah, you're great. Levels are perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Crystal clear. Yeah. 
<laughs> How do you guys start off the show? Because I mean, I know you got all that stuff up front. Yeah. Oh well, with, with these we kind of just do what we're doing now, and then we'll record like a brief intro. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Who's yeah. singing that song? Is that you, Tony? Nope. Oh, geez, hell no. That's that's our pal Heno. Yeah. From uh, Brian's <laughs> other podcast. Yeah. Uh, how many podcasts do you have? 15, 52? Yeah, somewhere yeah. in that range. 53, just to piss you off. You son of a bitch. I was going to have 52, but I was like, nah, I got to go one more. <laughs> oh. No, just the two. It's, yeah. I'm not, you know, trying to start an empire or something here yet. Yet. Yet, yeah. Mm-hmm. That was, uh, <laughs> they, he sent that in for what, our 200th episode? Yeah, yeah our yeah. 200th episode. And it's just loaded with um, inside jokes of, yeah. from the show. Yeah. Sort of like we nice. have to make this our theme song now. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that was that was I, I love that theme song. That theme song's great and then I'm like, well that's a deep voice. Yeah. Is it Tony? No, no. He no, no, no. he actually um he wrote the actually he wrote the theme song for the other podcast too. Uh The Crazy Life. Really? Yeah. Oh. Um, cause I because he did does music stuffs and uh, we you know I needed some music and I was like, hey, do you happen to have anything you know like lying around? I'm not asking him to record something new, but maybe lying around we could use or whatever. And he was like, actually, I got a a couple. And the first one had some cussing in it, and that show is a little more like you know we try to keep it a little more family friendly. So yeah. And I was like, well, this probably is not the best idea. And he's like, well, what about this other one? And I was like, yeah, that's perfect. So it was. Yeah. Not enough penetration. That was the problem. Yeah. That's, well, I mean, that that's always the issue. Just like that first gem movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say probably like most gem movies, even if there's a porn parody, there's not enough penetration. You're probably right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm talking gem triple X. I'm talking about gems spelled with a Z. Yeah. Like so, so bad. Like so much penetration, they have to. It's like like fourteen X's on it, because they're like this is. It's like six hours long. It's just horrific. A- Axel Braun is directing. Whoever that is. <laughs> whoever that is. <laughs> sure. Sounds uh, like a director, though. Yeah, yeah, it does. Totally sounds like a legitimate director directing movies like Platoon. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, that's the poem. Yeah. <laughs> Which also sounds like a porn director name, right? I mean... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's true. I mean, come on. Uh, that's just that's what happens. Yeah, it is. When your name sounds like a hand job, you just go into directing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when your name sounds like a hand job, yeah. either hand jobs or directing. Yeah, he chose probably the better way to go, you know. I don't think I'd want a career of hand jobs. <laughs> um, you, no. Yeah. No. You don't you don't really hear about anyone notorious for hand jobs. Yeah. I mean, unless you're like Lisa Ann or something, whoever that is. <laughs> <laughs> just a random name you came up with. Yeah, it is. I love that clearly someone's given you a sheet of just random names to to call out on the while you're on here. That's it's nice of you to call out all your friends. You know. Completely, yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just throwing out quick shout-outs, and I hope you don't, don't uh, bleep any of these out because uh, these people are very special to me. <laughs> <laughs> they got me through some things. Yeah, some hard times, maybe. Yeah, very I'll hard. Get it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tony. I was worried. I didn't know if anyone would get that. It was so layered. <laughs> Yeah, we we triple teamed that one right there. Yeah, we did. Wait a minute. Oh, Hold gem on. three. Now oh. even more penetrating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be weird if, if it says gem three with even more penetration. Yeah, yeah. Like we crammed even more penetration in this one. <laughs> they crammed is the optimal word <laughs> <Right>. there. <laughs> yes, that's that's no good. That's no good. No. Yeah, I, for people who watch this kind of stuff, none of us clearly do because gentlemen. So. You know, gentlemen, we, we go to church and we don't want to jam in the pews while no one's looking. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah, right. We don't sit in the back so no one notices. Yeah. <laughs> Which would be a weird fetish. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, it would be. 
Ugh. Be like, I don't, I'm so godless, I'm going to be in the back and I'm going to watch Jim pornography while you guys all pray. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, I, then you listen to Slay in the parking lot. Yeah, I, I don't know. That sounds pretty normal, right? I mean, not that I would do it. I just wouldn't judge someone who did. Much. Definitely not. Much. Yeah, yeah much. Yeah. Thanks, man. Or start, start a DM group on Twitter about it. Yeah, that would be really weird. I'm glad that you and I left that one. Yeah. Or at least I left it. I assume you did, too, because it was just filthy. Yeah. Tony, you do the Twitter much? Eh, not really. I mean, I'm on Twitter, and occasionally I'll tweet, but, you know, if someone tweets at me or whatever, then I'll respond, but... He's not very funny, Jim. No. Uh, (laughs) I'm I'm just reading up all these pages around me. Right. (laughs) Yeah. I just got this voice that makes everyone want to have sex with me. Yes. That's Tony. Right. He, that's what it is. He <laughs> yes. just wants you to listen to him. He doesn't want you to actually read things, you know. Yeah, it's Thanks. like the content of his voice. No, no, no. I want to just make love to the voice. Yes. Yes, exactly. I'll tell you, for you and anyone else who's listening, if you want to have have some fun with Tony's voice, you need to go back and find our episode with Blue Carson. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> when Tony <laughs> reads some of her erotica. Yes. <laughs> Some nice, nice sexy music in the background. It's it made me very <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> I only listened five times. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. she wrote a book of short stories that all had to deal with uh having sexual encounters in Disney World. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm all in. Yeah, exactly. And I'll also listen. <laughs> There's a lot of penetration uh, references on this uh, on this so far. We're gonna have to bleep all well, of these out to maintain our family friendly rating. We start off talking about John Lovitz and then Jam. You're gonna have a lot of penetration. Well, no one's gonna know we were talking about John Lovitz. Well, let's educate well, yeah. everyone on John Lovitz. He started out as trash and then evolved to giant trash. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even That's though a... I enjoy it. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. So those Subway commercials. Powerful stuff. I don't remember him doing Subway commercials. He just said, eat fresh, and then Jared came along, and we all know what happened to Jared. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. Even if more Sorry penetration. More penetration. <laughs> Damn it, Jared. Oh, no. <laughs> I think pretty much everything just leads to penetration. I think I mean, that's what if, everyone wants. Well, maybe not everyone, if a, but if there's a flow chart for life, <laughs> yeah, it all leads to penetration. <laughs> yeah, all arrows, flow charts, Venn diagrams, mm. you name it. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. That's yep. the whole point Dexter of Dexter splatter patterns, slide rulers, other things that measure things. Cars in your garage. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. Mm. Transformers that Tran- turn into sure. Transformer athletic supporters. Yeah, Gem and the holograms. Yeah, it's Danzig. Danzig. Yeah. Well, let's all let's ease up, guys. Let's let's calm. <laughs> let's all relax. Let's calm down before we say anything we regret. Uh, hey, well, let's downshift here. Hold yeah, on. All right. All right. All right. We're Look, back. We just uh, took a break, and no. So, uh, best Danzig cameo, Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Um, it, that one was my favorite, but then uh, in uh, uh, Portlandia, he just did one. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. That was pretty strong. I thought you were going to say, like, what is it, Riot Fest or whatever, where he made a cameo as the lead of the Misfits. But I will choke you. <laughs> I will choke you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um... Uh, on Aqua Team, my, my problem with the Aqua Team thing was behind the scenes, he kept irritating the illustrate the the anime illustrators, the animators, saying, um, "I want my pecs to look bigger and like I need to be tougher and just all this stupid shit." Where it's like, "It's Aqua Team, you asshole! Stop being a dick." It sounds like <laughs> me when they were doing animation of us. I had the same complaints: bigger pecs, <laughs> you know, better hairline. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Make my pecs nice. Make yeah. my hairline better. Yep, exactly. Yeah. More tough. <laughs> more, more, <laughs> more tough, yeah. More tough. Hey, does this look like you uh, need more tough? Mm. 
Yeah, he's like, that's, uh, yeah, it's just funny because it's like, you're not going to get like realistic renderings on that show. That's not really yeah, what I they mean, do there. Like, you, you've seen the Moon and Nights. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> yeah, and on, on Portlandia, he was actually, for once, had a sense of humor for the first time where it's like, thank you, Danzig, thank you. It just took you to be the age of 60, whatever you are. Yeah, yeah. There's something about that show. They seem to just find that with people, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. They just disarmed him enough. Was yeah. Danzig ever on Metalocalypse? Have they ever no, had he cameos? No. He, he, he never did. Um, Hetfield, Hammett, uh, George Corpse, Grinder Fisher, of course, from Cannibal Corpse was there. Yeah. Um, lots of people. Just Glenn Danzig did not. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. So I'm way behind on my Metalocalypse watching. So. I wonder if they ever reached out to him to do it. I don't know. There, there's a lot of people that don't reach out to him. Like even um, Slayer, when they did their, their cover album, um, they said they wanted to do a Misfit song, but Danzig's just too much of an asshole. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Damn. So it, it's it's little things like that where you think a guy that's caught carrying kitty litter and gets knocked out by some big guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. Accidentally. Um, who's just like, hey, how about we go on first? No. And then he just hits him. It's like, all right, well, you kind of that's what you get, man. Yeah, I guess. It's, yeah, you're right. The but kid, nobody talks shit about that. The kitty litter picture is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is because you, you, no matter how grim you are, carrying kitty litter, just, there's no way to spin that as evil. Yeah, there's no way to look tough while you're doing that. <laughs> Wait, what, what if what if he had a whole bunch of blood to clean up and he couldn't find any like oil dry, so he got kitty litter? Well, that's what I assumed he was getting it for. You know, yeah. even though we all know better, it's probably for some like really t- you know tiny fuzzy kitten. You know, yeah, He's dropping well, he used horrendous to have dumps. Cats, and I don't know what their names are, but can you? Their names have to be brutal and grim, and but they're still cats. Yeah, so it's like. Wait. Hold on. Research. Yeah. Oh, geez. Tony's going to see if he can get a list of Danzig's cat's names. Because, I, I I mean, if they're not brutal, don't we want to know? <laughs> yeah. They're just like Sam, Keith. <laughs> yeah, they're all... <laughs> Tony. Yeah, obviously. I hope so. Yeah. Tony's his favorite. <laughs> this is my favorite cat. His name is Tony. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The he rest of them he more. just calls Cat One, Cat Two, <laughs> <laughs> when, and then the infamous Tony. Yeah, and when his favorite cat dies off, then he just bestows a name or that name onto one of the other cats. <laughs> the alpha cat is always Tony, obviously. Right, right. I would sure hope so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All the other cats have sweaters that look like they're henchmen from uh, like the '60s Batman. You know, where it says like Henchman One. <laughs> <laughs> nice and a little beanie yeah well of course you gotta look tough <laughs> uh, terrible. well i'm i'm finding nothing uh, he's very secretive about his cats apparently well i would be too oh know. he he is we did a, an episode um on danzig that my little brother did like a lot of research with and my brother used to be in charge of the uh the official danzig myspace page really so, yeah, so he he talked to some of the members of the band. He talked to this this one guy who um, is is like one of the main contacts with with Danzig. And sometimes he puts stuff up. They're like, take it down, take it down, take it down. Oh wow! So it's like okay, yeah. And he was like a young teenager, so he didn't know what the hell was going on. Plus, it was MySpace. So. Yeah, right. Oh jeez. Well, I guess you know, real quick, while we're <laughs> since you brought up a show, I guess at some point here, first of all, we should introduce you, and also oh, yeah, maybe talk right. about what you you do a little bit. Um, and then we I'm Axel Braun. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whoever that is. Yeah. Who, yeah. I mean, <laughs> fake name. Yeah. Obviously. Oh man. So uh, I don't know if you want your last name used or not, but I, you know, your name is uh, James Jim Obscure Gentleman. Um, I've heard you referred yeah. to as some other names that are a little unsavory. Um, yeah, you can use my last name. Okay. You can say. All right, I didn't know. You know, some people are secretive, like, you know, Danzig's cats or something. So, you know. Oh, really? When you said some people, did you mean Mexicans? Is that a swipe at me? <laughs> <laughs> of course not, maybe. You, 
<laughs> you, you know how you Mexicans don't like to be called by your last name. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to be identified. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do like that episode where, where uh, at the beginning it's like, um, his name's actually Obscure Gent. It's just not a, at of the Obscure Gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I, t- I was like, yeah, this guy, you know, I, I dig what they do or whatever. And then I was like, oh, God, afterwards, I was like, I totally got it wrong. <laughs> Way to go, Brian. Well, if it's what we do. We don't research. We don't plan. That's we true. We rarely have things in front of us that, you know, have correct information on them, including our computers. They're all rigged to be wrong. So... I blame Danzig's cats for that. Exactly. Yeah, it's because of all the times I've made fun of Danzig. His cats are, you know, ruining me by cyber hacking me. And I don't know why I said cyber hacking. That's pretty redundant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to analog hacking. Yes. <laughs> they just show up to my house and tear papers up. Yeah, That's how they hack me. <laughs> un- unplugging your router. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. So anyway... Uh, joining us is uh, James. Uh, I'm not sure how to say your last name. Is it Alvarez? You can say it Alvarez. I usually say it that way because people go, what? If I go Alvarez. Exactly. But... Yeah, you're speaking, I don't know, what is that, Greek? I don't know. It's Greek, actually. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, <laughs> favorite Greek foods include quesadillas, <laughs> y guacamole, y... Uh, Yes, I'm. I'm a Mexican. I don't know. This is the part of the show where you uh, identify people racially, right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, well, yeah. basically, from this point, depending on what they answer with, is whether or not we continue or not. Yeah, like, like oh, oh, yeah. Well, have You're your like, time Honduran. Clicking. What? Yeah. No uh, Ecuadorian. No, yeah. thank you. Ugh. Yeah. No. No. Of course not. Um, you're. You know, I met you through um, various DM rooms. Uh, actually, Brian I met you through like BT140, I think, and then yeah. uh, from there we've, you know, skipped across the internets together. Um, <laughs> hand in hand, of course. Yeah. Well, you know, beard on beard. Uh, mostly. Sometimes Dell gets in the way, or someone else does, but it's all right. You know, there's room for everybody. Uh, you're also known for the being part of the Obscure Gentleman comic. What what's mm-hmm. what is it that you do on that? So the Obscure Gentleman comic is basically it's a weekly comic um, where me and my brother get together. I write it. Um, I plot it. Um, okay. Most most of the comics are all mine, like 95% that, that I, I write or come up with. Um, sometimes my brother will have an idea. I'll flesh it out and just basically plot it out. Okay. Say, here's this panel. Make me do this face. Make you do this face. <laughs> And that's basically what it is. I mean, it's all based off pop culture stuff. Um, some comics people will look at it and be like, what the fuck is this? It's like, oh, it's They Live in Doctor Who. I, I know we referenced too many things in one comic, but <laughs> but um, you can go fuck yourself. Right. Um, can I say go fuck yourself? Yeah, it's fine. We actually used right. to sign off our shows with it, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it, it's – and I use Twitter primarily – it started with just I'd tweet, and if people liked it, then it's like, oh, that's a comic then. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. Sure. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because before it's like, oh, this is genius. You put it out, and it's like you get like 500 hits. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then you put out some I, – I, I put out some shitty Shia LaBeouf Transformers comic once, and it got like – it was our first comic to get like 10,000 views. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? This was last minute bullshit. Wow. Well, I mean, you know. That's kid, kids love Shia LaBeouf. No, I got no. That's, kids love Shia LaBeouf. It was a love letter to Shia LaBeouf. It was, actually. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all it was. Your brother just like drew a rectangle and and you just t- put laid text on it. Yeah, Ex- yeah, exactly. But so Twitter was basically just a means to test this out, and then um, you get added into groups and start talking to people and stuff, and it's like, oh, I guess I got to talk to people. Great. Yeah, so, yeah, it's pretty awful, isn't it? Uh, yeah, downside like, of oh. social media. Yeah, it's the worst. It is because I mean I'm I, I've been saying I'm I'm a uh, I'm not a very pe- like I'm not a good people person. I'm an introvert, but I think that's a lie. I think I just say that. <laughs> <laughs> what? Don't don't reveal secrets here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm just used to pretending like oh yeah I don't I don't like talking to people I'm yeah. scared but it's like yeah, I'm not I don't really. Give a shit. Just don't send me nudes, and I'm good. Sure, sure. That's why I, as always, like Jim just said, always send him the worst nudes. We'll have his info available at the end of the show. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's oh. the worst. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that the worst part of the internet is just seeing people like, hey, you're funny, and then just, here's a nude. Yeah, so. right? It's yeah, it's so strange. I've never understood yeah. it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't get people that are, you know, oh, she said hi to me, dick pic. Yeah, it's like, slow. Why, why would that ever work? Like, in <laughs> life, if someone was like, oh, hi, nice to meet you, and you just dropped your pants, they're not going to generally just jump on you at that point, you know, it's... I don't understand why that doesn't translate in people's heads, you know? Yeah, it's like, oh, you think I'm funny? Well, uh, here's my penis. Yeah. Like, hey, you are hilarious. <laughs> oh. I think we did lost we Tony. Lose... I think we did. He had enough. No, what? He's taking the perfect dick pic for us. Oh, Jesus. I don't, I don't want to hear that story again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Well, I don't know what to do here. I guess we'll just carry on and see if he comes back. Oh, boy. Yep, looks like he's gone. All right, I'm going to stop real quick and see if I can get him back here. All right, I'm recording now. Oh, shit. None of that was recording. I no. probably just hopped in the middle of the show. No, because I, I stopped because I didn't know what was going on. Like, honestly, I didn't know where the problem was with Skype. I didn't know if it was going to be your end or my end. If it's mine, the whole call could drop. Yeah, that's You know, so I, I wanted to stop and save it before it did that. No, nah, that was just my shit here. Yeah. The cyber hacking. The cyber hacking. The, yes, the cyber hacking. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's my yeah, new thriller coming out this uh, next fall. <laughs> cyber hacking. And it's starring. just starring Danzig's cats. Oh, I was hoping it's <laughs> going to be John Lovitz. Oh, well, if he's not busy, I mean, I'll see. But maybe he's got a cat he, allergy or something. John yeah, he, Lovitz he does is run the Laugh Factory. So. Yeah. Oh. Wow, it's a factory of laughs. I guess. <laughs> it is. Most comedy clubs have the worst names. Yeah. Rooster T. Feathers. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Hilarities. That's we all have, I can think of. Yeah. we I'm out of <laughs> We've got the funny bone here and... Um, connections. Well, that one never reopened, but... <laughs> oh, it didn't? No. Not that I know of. Then we have, then we have the funny bone, and that's mm-hmm. it. Yeah. yeah, but we have improvs. We have laugh factories and... Um, upright system great theater though. Mm-hmm. I mean, we've got some legitimate ones. I was going to say that's quality at least though for most part. I would assume, assume, but yeah, the old comedy scene out here is really great. I mean, um, even the older alt comedy scene that I'm more into, like the David Cross and like um, Jimmy Pardo and like Pat Oswald, yeah, and whatnot. Yeah. That that was big out here. So I mean, now you got all the new wave of people where. Now I'm the grizzled old man who's like, oh, screw this comedy. These damn kids. Yeah, I get you. A little, some fish shaking, some get off my lawn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. What do you think that. he does on the weekends? That's it. He just sits out front of his house and just shakes his fist at the youngins. Shakes my <laughs> fist, plays Pokemon Go. That's all I do. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> well, as long as it's only the original 150 Pokemon, sir. Uh, Sure. I don't know. We're yeah, not. We're so. not poke. Well, I'm not a Pokemon person. Certain other members of my podcast may have partaken in. <laughs> I, well, I did. Pl- I did play the Pokemon Go, but I haven't played in. I don't know, probably a month now. You see, I I mostly play because of my daughter, but I was a gym leader when I worked at Toys R Us. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, because I had to babysit the fucking kids. Ah. Uh, well, yeah, gotcha. and then I'm. We we can yeah. feel for you on that because we both worked at a comic slash gaming shop and ran a comic slash gaming shop that was ours. So, oh wow, yeah. So yeah. we fully understand what babysitting in that aspect is. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, luckily yep. I got out of the stuff before Pokemon became popular. We just dealt with oh, Magic yeah. players. I mean, the, the the funny thing is, it's like uh, I. It's not like I wanted to ever play. I was like, this is stupid. And then you, you get some teens that come in and. Are like, oh, you suck at your job. It's like, oh, all right. It's like, I will fuck you up, yeah. son. You're like, like just be, I, bitch. Even though that's true, I'm still gonna mess you up in this game. Yeah. So yeah. then it's like reading. Okay, let's 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 build a deck. Let's and and then just destroying and crushing people. And it's like, yes. <laughs> now I have this unnecessary knowledge of Pokemon. Yeah, it's pretty strong though. I mean that that helps you out now, right? No. I guess, but once the next wave comes out, like right now, I can communicate with my daughter. Oh, like I get you. Most, yeah, yeah mo- most parents, when their kids are like, tell them the story of My Little Pony or whatever, you're just like, oh, I have no idea. Right now, my five year old loves Star Wars and loves Pokemon. 
So luckily I could talk at length about Star Wars. Mm. Um, but Pokemon, it's like, I I know it. Okay, great. But it's going to be something stupid next. I like I like that you're pretending like you don't have an extensive knowledge of My Little Pony. When we both know that's not the case. You're wearing a I, shirt <laughs> right now. <laughs> That's true, but this is just this is just to get the ladies. Oh, I okay, mean. all right. I'll yeah. I'll allow that then. Okay. No, no my wife time. is in the other room, but I mean, you know. Yeah. Well. Hey, listen. If it gets her, I mean, that's exactly that's all you true. need. Yeah. Yeah. She is a fan of My Little Pony, so. Yeah, and I've seen a picture of your wife. You certainly married up, so you can't risk anything here. Yes. You know. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She she actually got me by a line about um various music that she didn't listen to she said that she uh loved this band called botch um but really she just liked the cover of rock lobster that they did um and then she said she loved the dick kennedys because she had a button but really she didn't so she meant the president and his brother she didn't mean the band she wanted the kennedy family dead yeah she's <laughs> just really <laughs> grim like that <laughs> and then you knew it was love right there i mean that's, yes and yeah i'm like oh and then i'm like oh no oh you you want you want a family murder oh my <laughs> What was her maiden name Oswald? <laughs> yes, yes it was. What? Oh, that's weird. Oh no. <laughs> Let's finish the legacy. Tony, we're not gonna be able to release this show. <laughs> like there's too many secrets on this one. We can't <sighs> All these people wind up dead and it's like hey, we're gonna have to con- confiscate the tapes. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, dang it. And and we do record everything on cassette, so it's yeah, yeah. real real to real. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It's, I'd expect no less. It's harder for uh, Danzig's cats to cyber hack me. Then. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> that's 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 so mean to all the cats out there. Yeah, especially that belong to Danzig. Yes, yes, that's right. I think they'll be okay with it, though. I don't think they listen, but they might. I don't know. Danzig's cats. Yeah. They hear everything. I'll add them on Twitter, you know, when the show goes up. <laughs> they're, they're fueled by dark magic. Right. Uh, well. Dark magic and the darkest of, of um, kitty litter and friskies. Yes. 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 <laughs> Only the most brutal kitty litter. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name brand, actually. You know, it's, it's Danzig's own brand. It's weird. I don't know. <laughs> Oddly I'm enough, sorry. smells like hib- his, uh, hibiscus. I couldn't say hibiscus. That's I'm tough. sorry. It's a tough Delete word. this whole thing. It's all right. Done. All right. All right. So, so I have a question for you. And I, I've, I've heard you reference uh, and seen you drink large amounts of Pepsi when you've been on BT140. Uh, one night, you know, progressing from like a can to uh, like a 20-ounce bottle to like a 2-liter or 3-liter, whatever it was, to like then I think you were drinking out of like a swimming pool of Pepsi. Uh, yes. It was pretty impressive. I mean, by the end of the night, I I was a little worried for you. But so, how is it? Like, what is it that you love? Like, why is it that you love Pepsi so much? And you, Coke is your mortal enemy. Well, okay, so um, my family loved Coke, not not the drug. Right, um, sure. I mean, <laughs> just what, piles of it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's a kingpin. Come on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> so um, it just the, the I don't know that something about it just I did not love and. In high school, we were – it was a Coke high school. No, a Pepsi high school. There was Coke going on. Sure, yeah. I but, mean, um, nar- Narcos, season two. Exactly. His life is not Narcos, Tony. I told you that on the pre-show. <laughs> <laughs> Pepsi is just sweet and pure. It just – it it gives me everything I want, all my hopes and dreams in a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best response I probably could have gotten. Yeah, it, it, I I just love it. And those nights, um, whenever I do BT140, and the first time I did it, I was like, I hope people notice that these bottles are progressively yeah. getting big. Yeah. Um, those nights, I can't sleep at all because I have I drink all of those bottles. <laughs> like it's yeah. it, when, when it gets to the three liter. Yes, there is some left over, but I mean, I am so amped. I'm just like I'm jacked up. Yeah, and it's. <laughs> fucking insane i appreciate your you know your commitment to the bit though you know you like oh, you're yeah. you're not just pretending to drink it and then you know spitting it out on the floor or something like that you know or into a bucket or whatever <laughs> you know awful pepsi stained <laughs> yeah <drug. laughs> yeah well that's like even when when we're recording it's like okay so the first segment i'm gonna drink a can and then it's like okay gotta finish it all right now i'm gonna do it at 12 ounce okay gotta finish it um 
it, where it, it's it, – yeah, I, I want to commit to it and not just like, oh, I'm going to pretend to drink. This is silly. It's like, no, I'm getting fucked up on Pepsi, people. Yeah, you certainly did. There is no question. I was – it was very impressive. I know in the chat everybody was, you know, kind of worried for you. But, you know, whatever. I knew you were a warrior. You would be all right, you know. I'm a warrior born. Yeah. I'm not yeah. I'm not one of these these sissies that drink Fanta. <laughs> <laughs> Them fighting words, man. Not for me. I don't care. But one of those neo Nazis. I've heard. I've, I've heard. Yeah. yeah. That's very uh, weird. Yeah, it is. You wouldn't think that uh, Goebbels would have, or Gables would have loved, uh, you know, the pineapple Fanta as much as he did. But there, here we are. So whatever. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 a shame. The SS grape Fanta, their favorite. <laughs> Who knew? That's, that's also my favorite. <laughs> I don't like that I'm paralleled with them now. I'm gonna have to change my favorite. It's weird because on each bottle it has it has a little mark of which Nazi liked that flavor the most. So oh wow, that's yeah. There you go. Everyone, uh, if you're drinking, you know, lift your fantas and and have a look at that. Yeah, well, grape. Look for the double lightning bolt. Sure. <laughs> Double lightning bolts. <laughs> What's this double lightning bolt? Oh, it just it means there's lots of flavor. Yeah. Like, oh, Ooh. It's, and hate. I, yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. I mean, that's all I'm looking for in a drink. <laughs> lots of. <laughs> that's why I like whiskey. <laughs> yeah, it's full flavor and hate. Yeah. It's, have you ever read Milk and Cheese? That's you know. That's kind of what's going on with Tony and I here? And there you go. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Fair enough. All right, so I, I asked you about the the comic before, and real quick, I want to point out for those who who don't know already, like you should go check his comic out. We'll have links, and I'm sure James will plug all that stuff at the end because he is is as shameless or more so than Tony and I are. Um, You're damn right. Um, but Which his, I think you should be more. I don't understand why you don't plug more. Yeah, I just I don't know. It's a good question. I should. Uh, it's it's because we're lazy. Is that? I mean, but it's all, well, yeah, but I'm in a room with people who seem ravenous about, you know, helping others out at times. And I'm just like, oh, by the way, uh, we may have dropped the show over here, <laughs> you know? Um, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, James is like obscure gentleman, everything. So it's, you know. <laughs> it's like, boom, here's a guy eating food. Boom, here's a podcast. Boom, here's another podcast. Yeah. Boom, here's a comic. Yeah. <laughs> here's a picture of my son wearing an obscure gentleman t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, because in the beginning, I was, I kind of was just like, uh, well, if people like it, they'll they'll come to get it. But then yeah. all of a sudden, I'm like, yeah, but why not? It's like, what, someone's gonna get mad? Yeah, I was like, what's the the worst that's gonna happen? Honestly, the biggest reason I don't most of the time is like the one room that we're in is is the BT one forty one, and another one is like the one for your shows, and it's like I feel kind of weird, you know, like promoting myself when I'm in someone else's, you know, gang, so. Yeah, well, no, you you have, you have full permission to uh, use my room. Nice, so. and I also have re- recorded, so that'll I'm sure that I'll check with my attorney, but I think that's legal now. Mm-hmm. Mark the tape where that is. Damn right. <laughs> yeah, every hour, every hour is going to drop drop something. Oh, it's hey. going to yeah, unmerciful now. It's just that's all I'm going to do is just gifts of me, you know, <laughs> wearing salty language shirts. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I should make a gif of that with me you going should, like you this. really should. <laughs> Ah, uh, damn it. All right, I got to get that done before this comes out. Um, <laughs> anyways, I was going to say, your brother draws the book, as you mentioned earlier, and your brother does a fantastic job drawing that and the different stuff I've seen. Like when he's posted uh, just pictures of some of his other stuff, he's, you know, quite talented. So uh, definitely check out, you know, their comic. And I don't know, did your brother post his stuff online otherwise or is he just he, he's actually like you guys lazy okay that's fair um, yeah <laughs> way to perpetuate a stereotype <laughs> he uh yeah because he has a shaved head and glasses yeah. and right. beard yep yes. wow. exactly see that's what i meant i didn't mean anything else by it this is a it's just a this is a uniform we're wearing <laughs> <laughs> lazy people unite mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. <laughs> now he uh he used to have a deviant art, but then it got blocked because of something. I don't know. Mm. Papa Smurf penises. Yeah, probably. I was gonna say too much hentai, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, but, but most of the time he'll just post it on his Tumblr, or wherever. Okay. Um, okay. but uh, yeah, his his art progressed from we used to just do three panel bullshit comics that we kind of call it, where it's just like, here's this, and 
what punchline right. okay. I, I mean that's you know that's pretty much all the writing books that's what they tell you to do you know it's that exact yeah. phrasing yeah. i mean so we used to do standard things yeah all the time and then um and then like we quit for like a year and then and we said uh why don't we kind of do it like a comic i'm like it's for your art draw how you want to yeah right and so so it was like okay and so fucker draws all the time he's going to school for it and everything so awesome yeah good job aaron yeah that's it no more no, we're done promoting yeah. him yeah let's forget it yeah, i don't know why <laughs> i said that all angry like good job aaron. <laughs> yeah <laughs> son of a you son of a bitch. <laughs> what a jerk uh yeah so the podcast that you're on because we haven't brought this up yet um is called 12 for a penny well you you guessed on obscure gentleman also right but you're not on that regularly right yeah no I'll, I'll, every week um the obscure gentleman podcast will they talk about something pop culture related like kool-aid or sure Cl- the game clue and every week he'll read my comments to something oh okay um so but but i'm on it every once in a while like for the hey arnold episode my comments were what the fuck's hey arnold <laughs> i'm like I, I hate this shit i'm too old for it get off my lawn it's basically I, that yeah i i remember hey arnold but i don't think i ever watched hey arnold I, you know yeah. same thing just yeah. it was like, I, 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 I try to tell him like some of these things i'm just not gonna know or care about mm-hmm. i mean i'm too old for some of it so yeah that makes sense um, right which is the best comments to make is i'm just i'm too old for this shit yeah yeah mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. You, you glover it. That's what you do. Exactly. Yeah, That's, exactly. I totally agree. It's what I do all the time. You don't get it. You sit on the toilet. I'm too old for this shit. Then Mel Gibson saves you. Exactly. That's pretty much the way my life has been to this point. Yeah. Then he yeah. spouts hate while throwing Fanta at you. That's where Tony comes in with a weird Mel Gibson lethal weapon wig on. But, yep. you know. And the grape Fanta. You're and the, right. Yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Well, you have to be careful because that could be kind of racist with this here. We gotta we gotta be careful with the Great Fanta and Danny Glover together. So, Orange oh. Fanta. Uh, I guess that's a little better. No, Dan- Danny Glover doesn't have the grape. It's it's oh, know. it's Mel Gibson has because that grape? was that was the flavor of the SS. Oh. Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. I'm back in. See, come on, Brian. Yeah. Come on. You just made this. Made, made, this it, made it all weird. I, that's what I do. I mean, you see my bio. Oh wait, my bio doesn't say that. Um. So the show that you're on regularly is 12 for a penny, which yes. I, I've enjoyed quite a bit because I love I love when people talk about music and why they do or don't like it. And, you know, kind of what it um, what feelings it stirs in them and whatnot. So I've really enjoyed listening to you guys do that. And, you know, I love the fact that you uh, uh, solicit stuff from listeners too. you know, to, hey, give us trite songs that you would have played at your funeral and you know <laughs> my, my my favorite part about it is um go, going into whatever the listeners have uh have said hey this is the song i want to play at my funeral and my co-host yama is just like Haha, that's silly they don't want this and it's like dude what do you mean <laughs> it's he just assumes everyone's just joking yeah it's like oh that's a that song's too on the nose it's like well you're not gonna play the yakety sax at your funeral i, I would mean, i mean so maybe. slow down i suggested it but no one read my no <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's a it's a cool way to, to interact and, and see like what people are actually listening to i mean even sometimes yeah we do we shit on on some of the suggestions yes yeah as but, well you should though because oh definitely yeah that's what we do when we do a question of the week and we whatever we ask whenever people submit things they know they're open to ridicule by submitting, so it's I mean, it's part of the process. The listening yeah. audience is there to be shit on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Tony sounded more and more like Mel Gibson. Um, <laughs> yeah, well, or Chuck Berry, who liked oh. to be shit on. Well. <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> Fun music fact. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it, it is one of those things of, of, I mean, when you listen to a podcast, it's like that's the tone. Like you hope your listeners get that like – while you 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 love doing what you do and you take it seriously, um, it there has to be levity to it. If it was just me saying, "Here's music facts," it's kind of just like, "All right, yeah." I mean, every, everyone does that, and, and hopefully, like 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 with this podcast, you guys are bringing your own personality and sense of humor. Um, and we try to do that at Twelve for a Penny, where it's just like we have Yama, who's more into like the acousticy, hipsterish type stuff, and. Um, Joey, who's in a black metal band, Noctuary, who 
is just well versed in metal, classical music, and, and whatnot. Mm. Um, and then me, who's just like more mainstream metal, punk, and, and whatnot, things and, like that. So, and pop, um, and but it, it's fun to shit on people. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> well, no, not literally. You you also like you guys shit on each other too. So it's not you know at times. So it's you know it's not like you're only doing it to the listeners. It's you kind of demonstrate that pretty much anything that is said or or whatever is open for you know, for defecation. Um, oh, d- definitely. I, I, I think it's, it's, it's good to have that dynamic of, it, it kind of captures how we are just hanging out. Yeah, like as exactly. friends. Where it's like, you're, you're with your friends, you're busting balls. Your friend will say, Oh, well, I think this is a beautiful song. It's like, no, nah, that's, that's shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so like, you know, hearing your friends, karaoke suggestions or something. And like, this is my go-to. And you're like, what what <laughs> like really i don't know it's huh. you know it seems like sometimes that kind of stuff reveals um can reveal people's souls in a way to you something you know you can just make sure that you should be friends with them still you know yeah because you sometimes what, what, you'll hear something be like eh, maybe we're not friends now you know yeah yeah one of my one of my friends uh travis um who does the plane zero podcast he actually the last time we did karaoke he kept saying should i do this song and my response is like, I don't give a fuck what song you do. Just do a song. Please. You should have cared. I mean, who knows? Next thing you know, you're doing some weird duet. Like, Island's in the stream with him up there, and he wants you to be Dolly Parton. That's true. But he did pick a song where a woman asked for his phone number, so. Well. He, he, he it was, handled it. It was people they equal shit, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, nice. That's the kind of stuff at karaoke that you got to get up there and suggest, you know? Just good, good stuff to get the crowd going, you know? I just go up there and sing the Hulk Hogan's theme song. I mean, that's my good. Listen, there's nothing wrong. See, instead of doing that, you should, you know, sing the other um, Hogan stuff from his album because that's oh. classic material oh, right geez. there. <laughs> I want to be a Hulkamaniac. Yeah. Which Beast is Patrol. Which I'm not going to lie is actually the very first episode of 12 for a Penny I listened to was because I think it was when you were on BT140. And I think yes. I looked because I think in the chat room I was like, I'm downloading this right now. Because you guys did the Hogan Macho Man uh, album thing, yeah, the Beef Cast, yeah, yeah, and I was like, I was like, all right, these guys talk wrestling, you know, about wrestlers and this music. Yeah, I'm in because I'm familiar yeah. with both albums. So. Music, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, music. <laughs> well, that was fun. My my wife actually owned the uh, the cassette of the Hulk Hogan of that Hulk Hogan soundtrack. Tony and I have a friend who's a, you know, big Hulk Hogan oh fan. Oh my god, she and she's a loves the Hulkster. Yeah, we the one like the one day I, I got into her van and she played this. Whoa. And yeah, it was weird. There was no candy involved though either. I was pretty disappointed. <laughs> Any story that involves someone getting into a van, you have to at least say whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, you don't. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Worked out real well for that girl in Sounds of the Lambs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most vans do. She was do. kind of a big girl. She was. <laughs> All right, so back 14. to your friend's band. Oh yeah. Um. I so she played that album, and there's I forgot the name of the song now. Shit, it's the one where it's like Heaven gained a uh, Hulkamaniac or something like that. I don't another remember Hulkster in Heaven, Brian. Yes, that's the one. <laughs> oh, and when he I, slows it down because the kid died. I am such an awful person that I laughed like a maniac all the way through the song, and my friends just looked at me like, <laughs> like, how, why are you laughing at this? And I'm like, because it's so the lyrics are so bad. When he talks about wrestling and Wembley, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Yes, way to stretch oh. it out, Hulkster. Oh, man. Well, you know, it's he, it's horrible. And then next thing you know, he's doing sex tapes and saying I ate I stuffed like a pig, and then yeah. leg drops a woman. Yep. So that's I, that's the career path we all want. You know, that's true. <laughs> pro, pro wrestling album, turn heel, um, sex tapes, and then you know, uh, kicked out of WWE. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, he doesn't even exist anymore. No, I know. Yeah, they actually Wait, does, did. He get the Benoit treatment. It's close. Like, you know, they not quite. Like, they still, you know, like, they obviously on the network, they still have matches with him. his family? No. <laughs> I was, I was going to say Maybe. that, but, like, you know what? The Benoit treatment's actually something completely different. Yeah. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> Boy, is it. Yeah. They, they certainly did give him the clean sweep, though. Like, they don't mention his name, like, ever. And I think yeah. there's actually some of their records – um on their website and stuff where they actually have removed his name and stuff like that it's it's ridiculous i mean i'm not you know advocating that what he said was right but it was like 
people know this stuff still happened though you know it's, yeah yeah i mean murdering your family is one thing yeah yeah um, true the other thing it's like okay look we're just not gonna have you wrestle anymore it's like all right yeah yeah we're not gonna have you be an ambassador for the brand anymore and stuff it's like yeah okay i kind of get that i don't yeah. know he'll be i'm back. just waiting for the john cena sex tape because you want right? to see Nikki bella or because you want to see john cena in this yeah, Nikki Bella. Okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> if if John does the you can't see me beforehand, that that's all that needs to happen. Like if he's aware that there's a sex tape being made, he has to do the you can't see me at some point before the five knuckle shuffle or something. I don't know. I still don't <laughs> know how they get away with saying five knuckle shuffle on PG thirteen or T V fourteen, other than people don't realize that it's a masturbation reference. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Because they changed his finisher. It used to be called the um, the FU. They changed it to the AA. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and, but they didn't make him get rid of the, the masturbation reference. <laughs> Everyone's oblivious to yeah, masturbation. I guess, yeah. Or they just accept it. <laughs> like, accept yeah, it. we all do that. <laughs> we get it. That's fair, I yeah. guess, yeah. Like, even John Cena needs to get the poison out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, wow, it's dark. Yeah, I'm, I'm writing it down so we can put that on a T-shirt. Um, <laughs> All right, cool. The, the new batch of, or the first batch of uh, salty language uh, hoodies. You know, batch Even... is not the greatest word to pick, <laughs> isn't it? Though, new isn't batch. it? <laughs> yeah, you you guys don't have any uh, apparel or anything, do you? Not yet. It, that's that's just pure laziness. Um, we had a select run of shirts. <laughs> we do. We have a very select run of shirts because I have one and he's got one and yeah. a few I think others like do. Thirteen other people have them. Yeah, yeah. Very, 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 that's very select. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. a very small club. We have to deem them worthy. Then we bestow. It's like knighting someone. We yeah. bestow a T-shirt on them. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yeah. I mean, we we've sold a couple shirts, a couple hoodies here and there. I've heard. I've heard. Yeah. I've heard yeah. you've even had idiots like give you the wrong address and stuff for things. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. That happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Don't you know, like, what? It, it's pretty yeah, awesome. Like, hmm. I, I love how many people in the groups and stuff that we're part of, like, support you guys. That And, yeah. and Dell, too. You know, it's it's really cool how, you know, like, when shirts get available or whatever, they're like, you know, like when you were like, hey, we're probably doing hoodies. And everyone was like, yee, and throwing panties at you. And it was, you know. <laughs> You know, I mean, it's a typical Monday, but they were also excited about the hoodies. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> who who doesn't love a guy with a tune heavy? I mean, right? Right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it, it is one of those things where it's like, yeah, we we might do hoodies, and everyone's responding. It's like, oh, okay, we we are doing hoodies. Yeah, there was no more maybe. I know when you first mentioned it, and everyone was like ravenous about it. So I was like, wow, that was, yeah. So. Yeah, it was. It, it, it's pretty crazy. I mean, the the whole idea was kind of like how you guys have shirts. I just wanted a hoodie for myself, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it's like, well, it, it, it's more expensive to just buy one hoodie, yeah, than yeah. than a, a small run. And it's like I do a small run, and then they sell out instantly. It's like, oh, I got to do another run. And I got to do another run. Well, you don't have to. You could just be like, sorry, suckers, that was it. You know? Yeah, I I could, but but man. <laughs> i know you're you're about them benjamins i understand it's what well that, that's that's the thing it's like um like all the proceeds go back like into the comic or to my brother who's going to school and whatnot and, yeah um why we our, our school is cheap like, i don't understand why yeah i've been to yeah. our school it's cheap it's true it's true i mean he does get taught by a hobo out back of a dumpster by danny so yeah see you know oh. you can get whatever you want it's a street art <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why Denny's always has to get taken down. Sure, they have horrible food, but I mean, come on. When Waffle House exists, but Waffle Houses aren't everywhere. That's true. You know, you don't see a lot of waffle like where we are. There's only like there's one Waffle House, and it's what from where we live. It's what probably thirty some about thirty minute drive. Uh, Twenty five nah, somewhere there's in that one range. Over on, well, not to get too local, but there's one over on Central Avenue. They're, they're scattered Oh, that's right. I forgot they put one there. All right, never yeah, mind. Yeah. They're, there they're used to be just be around. one that was like, you know, it was a good half hour or so. Denny's, there were like two that were within like five miles of each other pretty much, which was weird. 
Oh, there's a Russian <laughs> moons over Miami. Yeah. Well, now neither of them exist. So. That's true. That's weird. I don't like it. Too, I don't like it one too, bit. Too many handies. Yeah, Waffle House bit. doesn't exist in California. Yep. So that's a good thing, though. So what do you guys do instead of Waffle House? Is there, like, a chain, like, garbage mill of the night thing instead of Waffle House? Denny's. De- oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm the sorry. Denny's, yeah, the Denny's well, is the Waffle House of the West Coast. <laughs> we're norms. I mean, if, if you yeah. want to go. Well, you guys have, like, food trucks to, like, ungodly hours, don't you? Mm, they are, but some cities have permits where it's like, oh, we don't want that oh. riffraff good food hanging out here. Right. We don't want these lobster grilled cheese sandwiches in our area. Sure, that's understandable. Who would want that? Yeah, that sounds, geez, that sounds, sounds terrible. awful. Yeah. Yeah, it's 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 pretty ridiculous when those riffraff of um, Korean barbecue slash uh, fusion Mexican food that's just. Korean short rib tacos. I mean, that's the worst. Why would you want that in your neighborhood? Yeah, I couldn't imagine. Yeah. I'm so glad I live where they, those don't exist. Once yeah. the high end food trucks come in, the neighborhood just goes to shit. Right. I only buy my street meats from hobos that grill on shopping carts. So, <laughs> <laughs> wait, do the hobos grow on the shopping carts? No, I said grill, not grow. Oh. <laughs> wait, people are grilling hobos on shopping carts? Yes. Have you not listened to our hobo episodes, Tony? Everything <laughs> is local. It's true. <laughs> it's gulch the table. It's literally street meat. <laughs> it's disturbing. Yeah. Well, I mean, listen. you don't want to know what the dirty water dogs are. <laughs> oh man, delicious. Yeah, you, you go to you go to the TJ. You get you get yourself one of those hot dogs, and you're gonna have some stomach problems for the next five months. Yeah. yeah. Wow, five months. <laughs> <laughs> that's wow that's some bacteria that will not go away Damn. <laughs> it won't I've, I'm, I'm still dealing with the hot dog i had in 96 so <laughs> wow it made you who you are today though i mean it is because it it's climbed dangerous. into you and burst out of you basically and that is now you right yeah, yeah. yes okay mm-hmm. that's what i thought much like quato from total recall mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's oh a- wow this is a bad hot dog huh? <laughs> Depends on your perspective, you know. It's all fair <laughs> enough. Good, good point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we've learned a lot about James here tonight. I'm, I should be taking thorough notes on this. People are going to be very interested to uh, learn all of this about you. Will they? Will they though? I'll tell them to be interested, or at least feign it. I mean, they, they well, at, you know, at least I'll throw it in my room because you know, if it's if it's got me involved in it. Yeah. I will definitely promote it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That That's what it was, actually. I just got tired of promoting my show, uh, or our show, and I was like, you know what? I'll have, we'll have James on, and I won't have to promote for, like, two weeks. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I, my, my favorite thing was, um, I think when I was first on BT14 the first time, mm. um, I said something obscure, Joe, and he said, what's that, a new comic or something? <laughs> like, every time after that, you said, what is that? I've yeah. never heard of that. <laughs> And I love that because it's one of those things of like, um, when I first started, um, like people actually talking to me on Twitter, Mm -hmm. they were like, oh, you do a comic? I'm like, what do you mean by I do a comic? That's, that's, that's why I'm here. And they're like, oh, I just thought you tweet. It's like, how dare you? You son of a bitch. Kids these days. Yeah, I know. Right. They just don't appreciate anything. Yeah. the, The, the best one is, um, people will buy a shirt and then they'll, they'll they'll tell me like a week later, like after they send me the picture, like, so what's your comic about? It's like, what? Wow. So they just blindly buy a shirt? That's yeah. hilarious. I mean, that's awesome. But at the same yeah. time, you'd also maybe like them to look at the comic. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it, it, it is fun. But you also get like the, the awesome supporters, like you listening to like 12 for a Penny and whatnot. And like people like Angie and. and um, don't, shout like, them out, uh, don't shout them out unless they're paying you. Don't. And Kat. And, no, d- and what's his name? David. Is it I'm, I'm censoring of that, all of that out. I'm cutting all of it. <laughs> any kind of fan that like actually like buys your stuff and looks at your, your things. It's like, that's awesome. Yeah. Like, like when I first heard about your podcast, like I listened to, to a couple episodes. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. I left a review. Um, and then since you don't promote it, I just, I never see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, see, what we assume is that people subscribe and we shouldn't do that. Obviously <laughs> I do, but I have a, I have, a hundred Mark Marins to listen to. Oh yeah, I understand. Dollars. Yeah, listen, yeah. I understand. I'm, I've, I've, I actually went through and deleted a lot of podcasts that I had Buried because under a weight of subscriptions. Yeah, because I just was like, I'm never going to get to these. 
It's just yeah, yeah. I, I I would hoard episodes where it's like uh, my first and foremost, I need to hear myself on my podcast. Sure. So, uh, <laughs> Wait a minute. Now see, yeah, you know it's because I I have like uh like so many friends doing podcasts and whatnot, and also some of my favorite podcasts, um like a big stand up comics and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but really my commute to work's not that long. So it's, 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 it's rough. I mean, this week I listened to a bunch of yours because, uh, it is a really good quality. Ep- like each episode, the sound is great and also the topics and you guys are funny. Yeah. So yeah, it, I, I, yeah I we, like we know all that. that. That's why we're not reacting, but no, I'm kidding. We, we need all that for a promo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a, I, sorry. Can you say that again? I don't want to talk over it. No, <laughs> well, it, 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 it does suck. Cause when, when you first said, um, you have a, po- you had a podcast, I was like, Oh, great. I mean, even though I'm the same way where it's like, <laughs> yeah, yep, we have one too. Yeah. Um, but because every time I listen to one, it's like the, the sound quality is instantly just, I'm like, Oh, yeah. I can't listen. But all of a sudden, I hear Tony's booming velvet voice. Yeah, yeah. By the <laughs> way, then, in person, he doesn't sound anything like that. It, this is all a filter in that mic you see. It's it's, yeah. it's a really high end mic. <laughs> Super. <pretty> yeah. <laughs> he sounds like Mike Tyson in life. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then the the boyish charm of a young Brian. Yeah, yeah. That is what I'm known for. It's my baseline. There you go. My baseline is boyish charm. Boyish charm. Yeah. Am I gonna have to I take mean, asshole psychic off the website? Oh, no, you can't take asshole psychic off. That was. T- <laughs> 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 I, we, we one of our interviews. Um, I I said I was my new character was that I'm an asshole psychic. Like I know what's gonna happen, but I just won't tell you because I'm an asshole. So like you know, so the rest of the time, like she would say something, I'd be like, I know, asshole psychic. Remember, <laughs> you know. <so. laughs> That's funny. Yeah, no, it, it's a. Uh, y- Listening to you guys, also, it reminds me of Rick and Morty for some reason. I mean, <laughs> like an older version of both of them. What, older? Oh, shit. Yeah, I know, Who's right? Rick? <laughs> I'm the older well, really of the two, so damn it. Br- Brian doesn't sound that young. I mean, he sounds young, just not... Right. Like, not in your young. wheelhouse young. I get it. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that don't agree to that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, especially not while we're recording. Wait, we started recording? No, no, of course not. <laughs> oh no. Shit. No, no. This is so, the longest warm up ever. I haven't recorded any of this. Yeah. We just you know, we we warm up for about six, seven hours, do about a fifteen minute podcast, and then we're out of here. You know, real quick. It's nice and tight. That's professional right there. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> this is actually the first warm up call. Tomorrow I'll call you again. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, we do this like, you know, like your BT one forty, and we do it twice. <laughs> Man. Or I mean once. Once. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's once. there's no yeah. pre production call. Yeah, yeah. Or anything. No. You know, it's funny because there are a lot of shows that do that and we don't because we just generally just hop right in and hopefully yeah. things click well with who we're talking to. And uh, so far we've been pretty lucky about it. <laughs> I know oh, one of these times we're going to run into one that isn't, where we're just not going to, you know, they're just not going to buy our monkey shines or something. So. Oh, we'll make it work somehow. Yeah. Yeah, because typically a lot of people, they, they, they want structure, they want – all right, what do I need to talk about? I need to hit this this beat, this beat, and this beat. Yeah. But it's just like, huh? Just yeah. yeah, I mean it. It it's thrown me off a couple times being guests on our podcast when they email like oh, a yeah. two pages of here's our itinerary, here's our outline for the show. It's like what? You guys put this much work into it? <laughs> Seriously, dude, you could I, just turn the computer on, and just start talking. I've got a notebook here that's our. We recorded our regular episode before doing this. I have like seven things written down that's like while we were recording i wrote them down so when i do the description you know i can throw that stuff in there those are my show notes i had no, almost nothing written down going into it we just sit down and you know most weeks that's all it is there's just you know we've no, it's why you know when we've lost an episode a couple of times you know we don't like we one time we're like well let's just record again and it was brutal trying to re trying yeah. to recreate oh, yeah. that magic yeah so yeah, it, that's that's always horrible because we we lost a couple episodes. One was the Danzig episode actually, and the first one I don't know that I you lost it. 
Yeah, well, I, again. Mm-hmm. exactly. Cyber hack. So we, oh, it, it was more cyber hack. Um, we, we'd have, I'd have jokes and stuff, and then the second time it was just so late, it's just like, all right, just tell the story. I don't give a shit. Anymore. Yeah, because you guys record like you guys record like marathon style sometimes, don't you? Or no, that's is, or is that for? Do you do that with Twelve for a Penny, or is that Obscure Gentleman that does that? No, that's Twelve for a Penny. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll we'll Oof. record sometimes three episodes in a row, and sometimes each episode's an hour thirty. It 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 just depends on the the topic, and yeah. Um, yeah. our main thing is just we just don't want to meet every week. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just can't stand each other. You're like Motley Crue. You can only be in one place for a certain amount of time, and then it's like I can't. I I don't want anything to do with you for like only meet in studio nine months. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it, it, it's one of those things of just like. We just we want to record every other week or maybe every three weeks and just put them in there and not, not worry about it and just relax a bit and just yeah uh, because then that's more time in between so more things can happen mm. and we can digest them and then bring them up during the podcast instead of just like well what else do I say I can't say the same damn joke so <laughs> well that's not true you you actually try every episode to only do the same jokes that's true that is true yeah. <laughs> That would be horrible. Can you imagine a podcast where that's it? Like you're like, I'm, we're only going to do this these jokes every yeah. time, or one person, not the whole show, but like one person only does a set of jokes, and that's it. Here's uh, my catchphrase yeah. over and over again. Well, there you go. I just gave you something to do on your next episode. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow we're recording two, so that'll be fun. Two's not bad. We've you know we actually tonight we're doing the, this one in our regular yeah. show, and we've done that quite a few times. I man, four is. Whew. I yeah, imagine I your brain's Four fried at the end. Yeah, yeah. I think I think we've we've done that before. Well, really, it was like two episodes, and then one episode was just cut in half. Mm. Um, and those are just. I mean, you're you're just you're drained, and yeah. it's like, all right. L- luckily, some of them are. We'll have a guest, and if we have a guest, it's good because sometimes my co-host Yama will just get up and go sleep on the couch <laughs> and I'll look at him like, what, what the hell are you doing? And it's like, Oh, well it's 3am and he's very tired. <laughs> so that's great. I didn't know that. That's great. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it'll happen. Or, um, he, he tries to do things nonchalantly. Like he'll, he'll get up to use a restroom and then we'll go up. Oh, there he goes. And it's like, all right, well, Yama's pissing. Um, here's what he actually thinks. <laughs> Yeah, that I've caught. I've never realized that he was sleeping sometimes. That's great. Yeah, there, there, there's like there, when there's a guest sometimes, and it depends on what the episode was. Like the Elvis episode, oh, yeah. we did. Well, that yeah. was that was pretty much your brother, like the whole episode. Yeah, because your brother, man, is your brother an Elvis guy? <laughs> oh, he he is, and like uh, besides his art, his just his in depth knowledge of just whatever we're going to tackle, or even on his podcast. Um, he just does all this research where it's just like shit. Wow. It's like, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to it. Just tell me the tale. And I'll say, say things like what? And that's crazy. <laughs> you basically <laughs> just hand him a soundboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like here, just oh, interesting. Yeah. Once in a while, hit these things, you know? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. You don't say not in the face. Right. I get you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or more in the face. Yeah. Not in the hair, whatever. It's okay. You know? It's understandable. Oh man, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I you know it's it's cool. I, like I know Tony doesn't know you, you know, like I do and stuff. But it's it's been an, a, a lot of fun to well talk with you here, but also you know through the rooms and stuff because you know it, it's it's always amazing to us. Like through podcasting, we've met a lot of people through podcasting yeah. and made friends with people. And even if we haven't met in person, there are people you still are like I kind I consider that person a friend. Like, I yeah. feel like that's a person, if they were in town, we would easily go hang out, hit it off, no questions, you know? And so it, it's it's been really cool. It's it's what I always loved about BT140 in the chat room is how much that community built, you know, groups. And it's had its ebbs and flows. Like, the group that's in there now is a totally different group than when I first listened. Yeah. You know, when I started listening to BT140, it was mostly, like, Twitter elite people. Like, yeah. Almost every account that I was in that room, and I'm like, man, everybody in here is like fifty thousand followers are up, basically, you know. And it's yeah, it's weird. It's a whole different group than and now. It it's was. the Star Wars Cantina. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> the music's always playing too, which is great, you know. Exactly. Yeah, it's it, it, it's weird the dynamic of, of people you get, and then also, I mean, doing a podcast like people will DM me and be like, hey, that 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 just like a line. Uh, someone Timmy said. uh, 
what's P pizza? And I'm like, I, I don't know. You tell me. And, and I'm like, what is P pizza? They're like, Oh, well on this episode, you're, you're talking about, um, this food called P pizza. I'm like, Oh, a P pizza. I'm like, that's two pieces of cold pizza with a sandwich in the middle of it. <laughs> and they're like, yeah, you talked about it. I'm like, I don't remember every, Thing oh, I've said. Yeah, we, we feel yeah. you on that. Well, I mean, like, you know, the episode we recorded tonight was our 269th episode of our regular show. And then we this is the 34th one of these we've done. And then I have I've done 70 of the crazy life. So when people ask me stuff, I it all is just one big blur. Oh, yeah, one big podcasting you know? blob. Yeah. It's so that's what Tony actually is going back doing best ofs of our show. And like he'll oh, wow. he'll put a clip up from like I don't know if you're familiar with Clamor or not, but you can do like you know 15 seconds or whatever it is yeah. little clips, and some of them when they come up I'll always play them and be like I don't remember saying that, <laughs> you know like That's I have amazing. no idea what that conversation was and so it, it's yeah, pretty I, awesome. I think for for our our 50th or was it our hundredth? I don't I don't even know what we're on anymore. Um, F- uh, 52. Joey, he, yeah, is it? What it is? Yeah, you're on 52 every week. <laughs> We're in 52, yeah. yeah. Um, he, he put together, like, a, a, a best of thing, and I'm hearing clips of things I said, and I'm like, I said that? That's weird. <laughs> I didn't know it's I like, was that right. racist. Yeah, it's it's weird. <laughs> it's yeah. like, man, I was – well, the, the, the best thing that, that uh, um, Joey does, because he's, he's our uh, – man, he spends so much time editing all the episodes and dropping in music into everything. Mm. Um, and anytime Yama says something that's not even racist, he will bleep it if it sounds like he could be saying something <laughs> racist. That's, that's awesome. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah. So anytime he's like, "Yeah, I don't like that because it's too," b-, and then it just bleeps, and just it, he throws and bleeps just that's regardless, awesome. just so it sounds like Yama's being racist. I love that a lot. That's it's exactly what should be done. That's what good friends do for one another. Yeah, and then um, every time Yama says, "Well, you're gonna edit this out," it doesn't get edited. Oh out. no! Or, yeah, we do that. Too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't edit. Yeah, anyway, I used to but... do that a lot. Like when we had a, a third host, and uh, a lot of times something would be said, and I'll be like, "Don't worry, I'll edit that out later." And there's no way it was ever, <laughs> you know. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, no. It it, it it's great because we, we have a friend who doesn't like to be known. Um, like he's really undercover, um, on internet everywhere. Mm. And so I'll say his last name. I'll say his first name at one point, and then his last name. And it's like, oh, and then Joey's <laughs> like, "Fuck," because every time he's got to edit it out. So uh, yeah. Um. But it's it's yeah doing doing podcasts is is a, a fun way to meet people and like yeah. actually have people listen to just your random D- shittiness. Here's a question for you: <laughs> yeah. Do you do you ever get nervous? And Tony, I'll ask you this. I don't know if I've ever asked you this or not. But What's do that? you do you get nervous whenever someone tells you they're gonna listen for the first time? No. 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 I always do. Maybe if it was like my kids. Well, yeah, that, that's hey, Dad, totally gonna start listening. You've oh, said some shit. awful stuff about your kids on here, so <laughs> no. yeah. they're probably aware. It's all true, but it's Cause, just because Jeannie listens to it, and I know half the time they're in the car. Yeah, I'm like really. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Yeah, <laughs> funny. My, my my concern um with that is usually, um, well, hopefully it's a really solid episode. I mean, that but, too. Because yeah, some, some of our episodes are more informative. Yeah. Than it, if anything, and so like a Meta- the Metallica was more about Metallica. Mm-hmm. Um, it was less jokey, but like usually, if people ask, I'll be like, "Okay, go to the breakup songs episode." And it's like, and that's that's an episode where my co-host talks about having sex with the back of someone's knee, which is great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it, it, it's one of those things where it's like I want people to know, okay, this is our sense of humor, so you're not thrown off. Right. That's so. I think that's what throws me with us is that. It depends on who it is, too, you know, like uh, different people from our DM group and stuff. When they're like, hey, I'm going to check out your show, some of them I've been like, oh, boy. Because even though they know my sense of humor because it's not much different in there than it is for, who, you know, on the show, it's – I don't know what it – it still makes me go – like I, it's, I have this odd um, feeling that maybe they're going to think less of me because of some of the horrific things we've said on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, like they're gonna go wait. This Brian's an asshole, and be like, "Oh, uh, yeah, well, kind well, of." Yeah, that, nailed that's it. definitely a, a concern. Like, especially uh, not everyone could be Hook. Who, like, yeah, he just, he's one I was not worried about. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he bathes in pop culture. He knows yeah. what's going on. He knows that there's jokes. I mean, it, it doesn't take it seriously. I mean, some people who listen to either of our podcasts will listen and be like, "Oh, you're, you're I didn't know you thought that way." It's like, well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not like we're dropping, like, politics and, you know, 
big world stuff generally, but you know, occasionally yeah. we'll dig in. But most of the time, it's just pop culture stuff just or pop culture nonsense. Yeah, or whatever's yeah. floating around our lives, you know. But yeah, it's it's so weird. I've had people, uh, not so much in the groups we're in, but like some of the other groups I'm in, where it's it's a little more. Um, it's more towards like PG 13 type groups. And then one of them will be like, I'm going to check. And I'm like, you should listen to the crazy life. Cause that one is <laughs> uh, that's a terrible idea. I think that's the one you're going to like better. So yeah. yeah. With me, it's like, Hey, you're, I'm going to listen to your podcast. How about you buy a shirt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. James is all about the, uh, no free rides. So exactly. I tried to get some bet. stickers off of him. He won't even give me stickers. Jerk. I threw in some stickers. But oh, right. the wrong address. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Now I'm the jerk. Damn. <laughs> eh, it happens. <laughs> it uh, happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, that way, you know, I can, you know, we, Tony has a habit of putting stickers up in places when we go out, so. Yeah. yeah. I, I try to make sure I have some in my pocket so I can drunkenly distribute them. Right. Like porta potties, Jamaica, you know. Yeah, they're scattered <laughs> nice. all across Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's this salty language yeah. thing? next thing you know we're getting some weird thing in the mail from their government you know <sighs> like it's illegal so. and tony put up 12 of them <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. we consider this littering yeah ah, shit 12 counts of littering <laughs> like damn it yeah. like, have you listened to the show i mean you know no. that's fine yeah. Uh, yeah so um so like yeah because you realize that like really like if you don't promote this stuff like it really it it can grow via word of mouth and other stuff, but it really doesn't that much. Like you would think having a bunch of Twitter followers would really help, you know, blow up whatever it is you do. Like if I retweet our show through my Twitter, which has more followers, it doesn't do anything for our numbers, <laughs> you know? And it's like, Oh, all right. Uh, so there's no pull there. Um, <laughs> you know? So. Yeah. It's, it's, it, it's fine. Cause a, a lot of people want and think like, there's other web comic people I talk to or like podcasters who are just like, no, nah, they'll, they'll hear my greatness and, and, or read my greatness and I'll spread like wildfires. Like, nah, it's, we don't live in that age anymore. No, we don't. There's too much out there. You know, you, you yeah. really have to yeah. kind of be, well, not kind of, but you have to be shameless about it. So, yeah, I mean, you, you have to, I mean, post on the Instagram, on the Facebook, on the Twitter. Yeah. Um, it's all just part of that. And, and it's not it before I used to care about, okay, we need, all these people listening now, it's just like, I just want really solid fans. Like you have, what is, yeah. was that guy named Cheeto cowboy or something? Cheeto bandito. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Cheeto oh. cowboy. I like, I like Cheeto cowboy though. We it's may start referring to him. Yeah. <laughs> it's a... Exactly. So it's, it's, it's that where you, you get these, these fans um, and listeners who just, um, they support you because they really love what you're doing. It's not just like, this one-off person that that listens and's like, oh, this is shit. Fuck it. Yeah. So, yeah. can we, I say this is shit? Fuck it. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Cool. It's yeah. fine. I'll, I, I'll, I don't know if the, I just didn't know if the second half becomes like G-rated, and we can't talk about um, people like Faye Reagan, whoever that is. So. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, man! What did I tell you in the pre-show? <sighs> tell you what. Oh man, yeah, it's it, it's pretty cool. Like, do you guys do anything else other than shirts? Like, have you done? I mean, I know it's stickers, obviously, but have you done any more? Because, like, I know some podcasts do, like, you know, the uh, what do you call it, the cafe press store or something like that. Oh, and you get, get a wallet or panties or yeah. a phone case, right? Yeah, like in the beginning, we 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 put up like a Zazzle store and yeah, um, coffee mugs and all that stuff, and and we sold a couple actually, um, but it just they're so expensive right yeah. yeah and and it was horrible so that's why my, my thought was i don't care about my margins i don't care how much we're making i want to just have people like wear our stuff yeah that'd be cool mm -hmm. and like not have to make we don't care about the money we just wanted to do it almost diy style yeah um yeah. like we, so we took kind of the, the punk rock method of we'll have them made we'll have them be quality though um and people can own them and not have to spend like crazy amounts of money yeah yeah because um, so it does it kills a lot of people oh. yeah <laughs> that's the way to do it it is right yeah yeah that was when we first did like our extremely limited run of shirts we did um you know like crowdsource 
ones. Like, what was it? Teespring, I think, is what we uh, used. Yeah, Teespring. And because to order shirts, it was like, you know, we don't have the money up front right now. So it's like we have to figure this out. But it's like, but we also don't want to charge. Like, we don't want to have to charge like 30 bucks for a shirt. Yeah. You know, and yeah, a, right. I've, a lot of podcasts have to because they paid so much for the shirts that. And it's like, man, that's that's a lot of money for someone to buy a shirt. You know, it's like, yeah, I'd rather just come up with something cheaper to to pedal you know because i know like for me it's like i don't want to spend 30 bucks on a t-shirt even if yeah. it's for somebody i really you know like want to support I, it's yeah. just it's and, too and, high and and, and and the problem is like a, a lot of those people that are charging you that much are putting them on on cheap material and yeah. and just the the logos fade and whatnot so like with me it's like i want someone who wears this shirt all the time yeah. Like someone who like, so like we use American apparel for ours. It's like the cost is a little bit more, but again, we don't care about how much money we make. Right. Um, we just want to see people support us, which is cool. And mm-hmm. they, and they do. So it's like, awesome. We, we don't get much from it, but we, um, luckily we have a website that gets a lot of hits, a lot of traffic and a lot of ad revenue. So oh, okay. that's, that's basically what we use to help fund all of it. Yeah. So. That's cool. Right. Nice. Right. And the rest just goes to your, your brother paying for uh, fruit and nude models, right? Exactly, basically. Yeah. yeah. He's, I understand. He's... Like I said, I went to art school. I know I know what it's about. <laughs> yeah. Bl- bling isn't free. Right. Do the kids still say bling? Uh, probably not. <laughs> mm. Unless they're like Kid Rock. Ah, uh, a horrible person. <laughs> yeah, from, our, yeah, from the state we live in. Horrible people still say bling. Yeah. <laughs> he's not too far from us. Uh, <laughs> it's true. Or insane clown posse. Yeah, yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. More of Detroit's finest. Yeah. You betcha. Yeah, Tony. Did I tell you James used to be a huge juggalo? Oh wow, that's <laughs> that's that's just mean. Like... <laughs> Tony, don't listen to him. It's... He's he's obviously high. I'm not. Yeah, high. I was. You know, just I have depression. I'm always low. Button. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tony was going to kick you out of the call, or me, probably me. No, I was just going to kick myself out. Oh, that's the smart call right there. Punch out. This yeah. jet's going down. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Seppuku is a great way to go. So, Yeah, yep. it's true. Yep. Very honorable. I do appreciate it. That's one of the things I love is that, like, Tony and I make Seppuku comments all the time when stuff goes, you know, awry. And when uh, you first started doing it, I was like, oh, yeah, this is perfect because it's a guy <laughs> who, you know, also makes this – you know, it's like the other day he made a comment that, you know, his son saw him getting out of it or trying to, you know, escape an inner tube. And he said something about seppuku. And I was like, your son knows his role in this, right? You know? <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, it, there, there's, you know? there's nothing worse than being at a water park and trying to get out of an inner tube. I mean, being like a, a, a big guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, you can't be graceful. I mean, I'm not the most graceful guy anyway, regardless. Yeah. And just getting out my... It was actually my daughter who was looking at me being like, she's five years old. And she was like, dad, it's like, <laughs> like, almost like, come on. Just the shame. She <laughs> just lowers her head and shakes it. That, that awkward flop in the lazy river. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the being in the lazy river actually shaved my legs uh, this, this week um, because I, I don't know why I was dragging my legs. And then when I got out, it's almost like I shaved them. And my wife was <laughs> was like, why are you so weird? <laughs> like, I, I don't know. Wow. She's like, it's like touching my legs. This is weird. <laughs> That's exactly what. It, and then even my daughter's like, why? I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know. You're like, look, I wanted to try something different. Jeez. <laughs> like maybe you just wanted that, you know, that, that beginning of, of fall cool breeze to kiss your legs without hair in the way. Exactly. Why are they body shaming you? <laughs> trying to get sleeker in the water. Right. Go faster through that lazy river. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mostly just on the side of my calves. Right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just like Aquaman. Just, it's... Yeah. The, Aqu- Aquaman. Doing the comic, we've made fun of Aquaman a couple times. Naturally, it happens. Yeah, right. Um, we we actually just we, did on our podcast. We the, spent about fifteen minutes just beating the shit out of yeah. him. <laughs> so, and and it, it, it it's weird because the Aquaman fans attacked Aquaman fans and Kiss fans um came at us like just with a fury of oh how dare you're stupid oh and it's it's like wow, see, even the fans are horrible. Yeah. It's like yeah. 
take a fucking joke. Um, I, I got uh, the, on one of our episodes. It was like the week or two after Robin Williams committed suicide. Gene Simmons made a comment about like if you feel that way, oh. you should just kill yourself, right? And yeah. I like when we were talking about it, I was like, "Fuck him," you know. I was like, "I don't yeah. care who he is, whatever." Like, "Fuck him" for saying that. And I actually got a couple of people that sent me a message because I, I also posted on Twitter something to that effect, and and mentioned him in it. I didn't. I'm not going to back down from it. And of course, he didn't respond. But, uh, you know, I had people like, you know, he's a legend. and I'm like, no, he's an asshole. That's what he is. Yes. You know, you don't Legendary make comments asshole. like that. Yeah, that's. Man. Yeah, no, but people, I, I, I tweeted something along the lines of um, for Halloween, Kiss is going to dress up as talented musicians. <laughs> <laughs> and and they came back up. How dare you fucking suck? And they're, he, they're fucking gods. And it's like, all right. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, it, it, it it's funny, like, because people talk about trolls all the time, but, like, having a webcomic and being on Reddit and Stumble and Funny Junk and Imager, it's like, yeah, I've I've faced a lot worse than Twitter trolls. Oh, yeah, um, no doubt. Well, yeah. Fair I mean, enough, yeah. Um, comic artist Gene Ha, um, who's done top 10, I mean, DC covers, he attacked us. Really? Um, yeah, it was, it was pretty great. Um, it's what... <laughs> It's what actually solidified me as wanting to do this more. Um, when we came back, uh, we did a comic making fun of Superman wearing a T-shirt, having short hair, basically being a bro. Yeah. And he comes back with like, this is bullshit and you don't know and you have no idea. And he just attacked us on on like various forms of social media. Wow. Um, and then I went to Twitter, which was my strength, and basically it was just like um, – Talking about how he's bull- how how a creator's bullying a small comic, and then so finally he apologized for being an asshole. Um, and I said, "Look, since you're apologizing, I'm like, I'll delete whatever." He's like, "No, let it stand as is." And I was like, "It's a, it's a shame because I really liked what you did art wise." I said, "But you're a dick to to the smaller people when you should be helping them out." Yeah, I'm like that's, so, yeah, but it was fun because fuck Gene Ha. <laughs> that's you that's go. your new Comic Con T shirt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go. Like you said, you know, now you know you made it, right? Uh, that's I, I'm with you on that though. Like I don't understand. Like I've I've seen some creators go back at people, you know, and and you can't, you really can't win by it's you know you can't win by attacking the fans generally. You know, it's. Plus, like you said, in this, it's like a guy who works for, you know, bigger companies is bullying the little guy kind of a thing. And all you did was express your opinion. If you can say, hey, you know, why, yeah, don't, why and, don't you give it a chance, maybe? Like, we, we have a friend named uh, – his name's Aaron, but we call him Oz because he's from Australia. And mm-hmm. um, he got into it with um, Dan Slott mm-hmm. over – I think it was, like, something with Spider-Man or something. that He was just, like, you know, like, after they – one of the reboots of Spider-Man – and he was basically like, this is shit, and this is why. And and Dan Slott actually, like, reached out to him. And I think he's kind of done the same thing with Scott Snyder once. And to where they've actually reached out and were like, have you given it a fair chance? Have you really done, you know, but they weren't dicks. They were very that's much, awesome. very yeah. much like, hey, that's your opinion, but maybe do this. And I've seen Brubaker do that to people, too. That's, you know? see, and and, and that's, that's what you should do. It, it shouldn't just be like, it, it's almost like doing a podcast where it's like, why – why would you just tell someone like, "Oh, you're shit. You suck. Like the sound is horrible." Why not be like, "Hey, what do you use?" Yeah. Hey, well, maybe you could use the. I mean, there's better ways to go about like helping out someone instead of just tearing them down. Like, like Gene Ha's whole thing was we attacked um, Bob Harris, who has done shitty stuff with the X Men. I mean, he's just yeah, b- bad ideas all around. And, and this wasn't saying he's a horrible person. He's shit. This was just saying, <laughs> this new idea and direction isn't good. We don't like it. It's taking away what we like about Superman. Yeah. And all he can say is, um, you guys suck and you guys are you, this and that. It's like, <laughs> wow, you're you're an idiot and I will never support you again. That's yeah. all he did. He just lost two fans. Yeah, so. right. Exactly. That's why I said earlier, you know, like you generally just can't win attacking fans you know because usually you end up coming out as the asshole even if you're not you still seem like you're the asshole in the the whole thing 
It's just yeah, you're it, just better it, off yeah. to just avoid it or go the other way and just, well, why don't you like it? I don't under, you know, like I said with Dan Slat when he talked with our our friend, you know, he was kind of like, you know, I get it, but have you read this and this cuz it sets up, you know, kind of a thing. And you know, and and that's kind of where we've gotten with, you know, a lot of stuff with books and different stuff when we talk on the podcast about, you know, giving things a chance sometimes because it's very yeah. much you know, we we had um, a guy named Chris Waffle who does like nerd nerd rock on, and he had a song about that exact thing about how as soon as something's uh, announced on the internet, the community basically is like, "That's garbage! It's stupid!" And you know, yeah. instead of like, let's take a step let's back, live. breathe let's a little, wait. give it a second. Yeah, you know, like okay, you know, now that you've seen it, sure, trash it if you want to, but at least, oh yeah, it's it's know. it's anything, whether it's like slightly racial, just any kind of difference. No one wants change. No one wants. Captain America to be Falcon. No one wants Thor to be Jane Foster. Spoiler alert! Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, I know. If if you're two years behind on comics, you're <laughs> fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just ruined it. <laughs> Some, somebody's like at that book right before it, <laughs> and you just just blew it wide oh. open. Yeah, <laughs> the Dorito Cowboy is pissed right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. He just unsubscribed Listen, right now. All, all that's going to happen is he's not going to be a fan of your stuff now. So, I mean, you're just, you know. You know what? I don't know. But our fan is the Dorito Cowboy. Yours is the Cheeto Bandito. Yeah. So it's just. That's fair. That's, that's Where does the thing. Frito deputy step in? <laughs> you're just sponsored by Frito Lay, basically, is what we're saying. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Maybe. PepsiCo. Come you, on. I'll do all circles back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I support this. Yeah, of course you do. Of course you do. <sighs> you kids and your Pepsis. I, actually, I I like Pepsi. I have no problem with it. So, <sighs> not my favorite though. So, so sweet, the great nectar, great Fanta. That's my favorite. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't know why. I'm just drawn to it. There's something so right about it. <laughs> Next time right you see a great right. Fanta, you're gonna like. <laughs> oh. oh boy. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, well, we've kept you longer than we said we were going to, so I should probably, uh, you know, wrap this up here. <laughs> so uh, do you want to, like, go through your, I don't know, what is it, 17, 52 ways to pimp your stuff? 52 ways, definitely yep. 52. Um, yeah, uh, podcast-wise, go to uh, – actually, no, let's start off with the obscure ge- – first, let's start with the obscure journal. All right. So obscurejournal.com, um, comics every week. A weekly podcast as well. Sometimes our friend Travis from the Plain Zero podcast will eat burritos on our YouTube channel. Yeah, um, that's fun. He eats, mm-hmm. yeah, various foods he that eats terrible just come things. Out. Yeah, yeah. I, oddly enough, it's not disgusting. Um, he's maybe interested in a couple items, um, but he's disgusting. <laughs> but that's general. only because of how sensually he's eating them. I mean, that has nothing to do with the food. <laughs> that is nice true. music, candles. Yeah, right. And a Whopperito. Yeah. <laughs> Bear skin oh, rug. Um, yeah, but if, if you go to our website, we also have uh, our store, which has our hoodies, our T-shirts, all that good stuff. Um, our Patreon, if you want to support us uh, monthly, you get free stuff out of that. Which I got to um, say, one of the cool things a lot of people on Twitter have done is where your brother draws their Abby. You know, I've noticed yes. a lot of people go for that, which is really cool, you know, because, again, it's cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's it's um it, it helps him flex his art muscles. Yeah, I um, offered you to do that a long time ago and got no one like not for our show, but just in general. I was offering to do it for free on Twitter and got no one to respond. <laughs> it's because you're not pimping things. Like it's me. because I'm not talented. That's all it is. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there's no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean, it's it, it, it's cool. The people who've um who've helped out and and support us again? People like Cat and. Um, quit other quit people. giving her all this praise. Her head's gonna get huge. <laughs> well, she's helped to support us. Um, but I mean, there's a lot of people out there. Hook, um, especially he's one one of our early supporters. Where it's just, um, people give like even a dollar a month. Where you're like, wow, really? Okay, cool. Thank you so much. I mean, it yeah, it just sure. helps the machine run. Yep. Um, which is awesome. But also twelve for penny dot com. That's um my podcast that not my podcast, but I do it with, uh, Joey Niamo, my longtime friends. It's uh, about music. Um, go over there. Um, we have no things to sell. <laughs> so, uh, but go there, leave iTunes review list. Why don't you listen? If you liked what you heard here, um, 
Yeah, I guess go over there. So <laughs> that's a ringing endorsement. It's the confidence that sold that one, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, if you, if if you like what you heard here, go over there. Um, we also interact with our with our fans. Um, I'd love to have the uh, Cheeto Bandito um, over on our side as well. No. So no, no I'm no, actually okay. going to email him as soon as we're done here. Be All like, right. you're not allowed to be. No. <laughs> message me, Cheeto, please. Yeah. Message me. Oh, he'll message you. <laughs> you're like, you shouldn't have said that. Yeah. Now it's over. You don't know what you've called down, sir. <laughs> but yeah, so just, just go over there. It's pretty loose talk about music. Um, we take suggestions and whatnot. So, um, yeah. That's it. That's all I got. All right. Whew. That's not as much as I thought. I was, I was expecting way more. Uh, I mean, I yeah, can talk yeah. about Plane Zero, but I guessed on there every once in a while, BT-140. Mm. Um, yeah, you're a co-host more frequently than me, but whatever, Del. Um, you know. <laughs> um, you know, it's yeah, funny. Um, we just talked all this time, and wrestling n- almost never came up through this whole thing. There was wow. nay a reference to wrestling. And Slow when you down. said— We talked about the Hulkster. Eh, that was, that's not wrestling. That was more about the sex tape. Um, no, <laughs> that was kind of wrestling for a little bit. <laughs> true, true. You know, it's funny though. Like when I said, you know, fifty-two ways of pimping yourself. I had the thing, the flashback. I don't know if you guys remember when Chris Jericho said he was the man of a thousand holds, and he had a list, and he yes. came out and was starting to read. He actually kind of redid it this week on on Raw. So, oh, really? Spoilers. Um, yeah. Oh so. man, first Thor now this. <laughs> I'm ruining it. Tony's week is ruined. God damn. Man. All he was gonna do tomorrow was read Thor and watch this week's Raw. <laughs> oh. So I'm just gonna mow the grass like an animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you have been a guest um often, but just not as often as me, so that's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's terrible. Oh, um what? also uh there's gonna when does this drop? Uh this will go up next Thursday, basically. So possibly um, there's a, a tournament going on on Twitter. So if you're uh, go to obscuregentleman.com, you could see it going on. Um, you're involved in it. Oh so. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> when does that start? Is that soon? Uh, or is that about two weeks? Oh jeez. So. Some sort of contest of champions. <sighs> yes. It it is. It's it's a kumite, if you will. <laughs> nice. Yes. Excellent um, reference. <laughs> yes. So it's it's basically uh, different uh, Twitter people of various volume. Um, they're, uh, they go up against each other, kind of like a Kumite. It's highest rank versus smallest rank. And basically they brackets until the last one person wins. They get hoodies, they get t-shirts, they get, we turn your tweets into a comic. We do all this stuff. So if I win, I'm uh, burning all of the prizes. I, I, that'd be awesome. <laughs> it's going to be like when LeBron James left for Cle- or for Miami. I'm just going to be yeah. holding it up and just burning all of it. Brian, if if when this thing starts, if you don't have uh, an avi of your head on Bolo Young's body, you're doing it wrong. That's a great and, uh, idea. The, the, se- the second place person actually gets a box filled with um, loot crate stuff that me and uh, Travis did not want. So <laughs> I like this. I actually have some loot crate stuff like that. I should get rid of some of mine that way. That's a great idea. I'm Call talking loot- to Terminator Two pin or pan, whatever it was. You can call it loot crap. <laughs> yes. Perfect. That's what we you should do. Just like start a subscription yeah. box through the obscure gentleman called Loot Crap. <laughs> somebody <laughs> just gets that. Like it's available once on Patreon, and that's it. They just get a box of crap. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. My my wife hates that I have all these, and I stopped my subscription because a gone in sixty seconds uh, car is just where I draw the line. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it so. didn't come with Nick Cage, so who cares? It might, it might have. I just no, like know. yeah, like tomorrow you're he's gonna be standing outside your house. <laughs> I didn't mean like an action figure. I meant actually Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Damn you, Nick Cage, oh, man. man, horrible. Oh, the the um one last thing, the charity that the barn is uh oh, yeah. doing. Um, they're a DM group. Um, raising money for breast cancer, um, awareness and whatnot. Uh, um, go to the uh, I love the barn dot com. We have links on our site, but uh. You can uh, donate all kinds of stuff to uh, to help that out. So, Ooh, like loot um, crap. I, yeah, yeah. I did. I did a great job promoting that mm-hmm. with no information at all. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, yeah it worked out. I like it. No, it was horrible, actually, but whatever. Well, I, I didn't want to say it to your face. I was going to say it once you disconnected, but that's okay. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I kid. 
right? Yeah. You no, think? thanks for having me on. This this is great. I love your show. I love what you guys do. Um, I love that voice, Tony, and um, you too, Brian. Sorry, <laughs> man. I know it's cool. I'm just sitting here. Whatever. I'll be your uh, corner man for the tournament, Brian. Nice. Wait. All right. I can't trust you. If someone needs to throw a towel in, you're not going to do it because you're an asshole. No, I'll <laughs> definitely throw Fuji dust. Oh, all nice. right. You're back in. Yeah. All right. All right. Anyone who'll throw Fuji dust in my name, it's, you know, yeah. I like it. Fair Pocket enough. sand. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I'm, po- I'm Fuji dusting my way to the top. So. Nice. All right. Well, yeah, thanks, James. This was this has been a blast. I, yeah, I've been, been looking forward to this because, you know, I talk with you in the rooms and stuff a little bit. But this is, you know, I haven't really had a chance to do this. So, yeah. All right. I'll be back next week, guys. Thanks. Yeah, cool. Man, no all problem. Right. Yeah. All right. Whenever. Sure. <laughs> Open door policy here at Salty Language. We might not, you know, leave it unlocked or whatever, but well, we have a rule. Which the rule is, if the, if the door's unlocked, Tony's coming in. That's, That's the true. rule. So oh, okay. don't leave your door unlocked. And by that, I mean like your your, your buttocks. I, I, I'm I'm just giving uh, you a fair warning that no nothing is safe from that kid if he's had enough sense. to drink. All right, thanks guys. I'm gonna get out of here. All right, thanks a lot, man. All right, All right man. talk to you later. You. Bye. Bye. That was good, clean fun. Uh, block this person. No. <laughs> I almost, I accidentally almost did. Because <laughs> it's where they move things, and I don't know if you've noticed, like Skype just moves shit around. Well, I thought it, they, the update is to keep you on your toes. Yeah, every time they update something, they move something, and I'm like, uh, like, and the thing, like, it used to be part way down was, like, removed from this call, and now it's, like, at the very bottom. So when I went like, to where it I usually like, block is. block this fool. Yeah, <laughs> That would have been funny. <laughs> I just block him. Oh, shit, I'm still recording. That's fine. We need to wrap it up anyway. Well, I know, but I should probably have stopped so we could do... Nah, all no? that was fun. We're just going to leave all this in? All right, well, fair enough. Do warts and all. Yeah, that's cool. We can do the ending. Um, yeah. Yeah, so again, thanks to James Alvarez from, uh, you know, the Obscure Gentleman, uh, 12 for a Penny, and all that. And he gave you the links. We'll have them available in the show notes and, uh, you know, on the website. On the web page mm-hmm. under the interviews section of salty language.com yeah so uh yeah i guess that's it right you got anything else to throw in here i think we're no that was just a good time good and fun. uh yep. you know i've i've listened to a couple of 12 for pennies of metallica ones but i mean mm-hmm. now that i've spent a good couple hours with james i feel like i need to subscribe yeah definitely he's he's a good dude he's so. a good dude mm-hmm. so all right uh well i guess uh take it away on enthusiast this 